Hi, you're in bed with Night Flight. I'm Harry, and this is Sam from right. Night Flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So bad already. Can we start that again? No, that's good. <laughs> oh, it's natural. Well, I left. I left it so you just said Sam. Yeah, it's natural. Okay. Should we just keep going. Yes. Okay. So uh, we're interviewing ourselves today, and the first question I have to both of us is, "What happened last night?" Um, God. Oh. Last night we were in Hamburg, uh, and we played at a industry concert for. TV and film industry, mm-hmm. kind of schmoozing about. We played a few songs with yeah. Rue Paynes, who we're supporting on tour. That's great. Yeah, it was really cool. And uh, had some nice soup and some nice beer and mm. wine. Yeah, it was a nice night. Cool. You just interviewed yourself there. So this <laughs> one's for you. It's great. If you could choose whomever you wanted to perform a song in bed with you, who would they be and why? Who would they be? Alive or dead? Does not matter? I mean... They can be alive or dead. Probably better if they're alive, though. Yeah, it probably is. If weird. I could go back in time, maybe John Lennon, because he's used to. He, he spent a lot of time in bed. <laughs> he did. Would um, you dress up as Yoko? If he want, if he wants me to. <laughs> P- probably not, though. Oh, I've got one for you now. All right. Yeah. Uh, who would you want to invite to a sleepover slash pajama party? Anyone. Yeah, anyone. I used to. G- g- this I should say musicians, but. No. I'm I'm gonna give you my triumvirate of okay. actors that okay. I grew up with loving. Yeah. Okay. I'd have Sam Neill, right? Kevin Cosner. These mm-hmm. are all legends. And yeah. Harrison Ford. God, I could have guessed the better. first two. Yeah. From our Twitter feed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was good. That was a good answer. Um, we're multidimensional, not just about music here. That's it. Um, did something? Oh no, it's your turn to ask me a question. Sorry. <laughs> When falling asleep, have you ever been worried you'll never wake up? No, I can't say I have. I'm always worried about the waking up part, um, and I wake up a lot. I worry I'll never wake up a lot. Maybe, one day. It's in a lot of the songs. <laughs> yeah, listen to the lyrics. You can hear it. I talk about not waking up a lot. <laughs> I didn't realise realize that was a fear of yours. Yeah. Okay. That was normally not getting to sleep. It's literally a lyric. I'm in constant fear. Yeah. Well, I've just I haven't though. slept I'm in days. Of it. Okay. <laughs> True. Okay. Uh, Go listen to it. White noise. <laughs> Did something bad ever happen to you or anyone else because you overslept? Yes. Yeah. Numerous times. Yeah. I'm very bad at waking up. A lot of times I've been late. Well, you're always late. Yeah. Yeah. Don't blame sleep on that. There is, I do blame it because I go to bed late and then I wake up late and often I've, I've said, I've missed many, uh, an appointment with a gas engineer. It's, they're always like nine o'clock. Okay. I'm like, yeah, great. And then 11 o'clock comes and I've got five missed calls. Yeah. Gas yeah. man come around often. I have a lot of problems with gas. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did one of your songs ever come out of a dream? Of a dream? Yeah. No. I am not someone who subscribes to the whole having a song come out of a dream. No? <laughs> no, that doesn't happen for me. My dreams are always far more obscure. No, um, you didn't have... You not had your Paul McCartney yesterday moment. Scrambled eggs. No. Damn I wish. Please. No. Oh, it's my turn. What's the oddest thing you ever took into bed? Person or no, probably let's not. <laughs> let's go with object into bed. I don't know. I've been, I mean, I've woken up with my guitar before, yeah, just kind of there, you're like so it was cool, a human. Yeah. yeah, that is cool, isn't it? Yeah, so sometimes cool. my capo, yeah, there, there are definitely. I, I feel like I would have needed more time for this question because yeah. there are there are moments that I've had that I, I can't I can't recall right now. I asked this question because I actually have a good answer for it. Go on. And I wanted it for myself. But you enjoy interviewing yourself. I didn't take so. this into bed, but one time I woke up in bed with a really scratchy leg, like an it- it- itch on my leg, and I pulled back the covers and there was very old toast in my bed. <laughs> They'd been there for a really long time. With anything on it? No, it was just the crust and stuff, but it was really scratching against my leg and it was it kind of threw me. I was relieved that it was toast. So wait, was it a full piece of toast? Or just no, no, it was crust. I'm, I'm like a plate. Yeah. 
down by my legs. I think I've definitely had food food in there before when I was younger, a lot younger. Okay. Do you sometimes hug your pillow? Um. No, but recently I've started putting a pillow between my knees when I'm on my side, which I think is a really old person thing to do. I th- I think it's actually um, meant to be quite good physio wise, isn't it? Is it's it good, good for your back? Is it? It's quite therapeutic. I feel like my knees just—I've got knobbly knees and they just clang together. Otherwise, I always I always think when I read books about sleep, you always see these cartoons of people with the pillows in their knees and yeah. s- sleeping really peacefully. Yeah, looks nice, doesn't it? It's like a good life being Peaceful. a cartoon. Yeah, and a book about sleep. Yeah, you've read a lot of. <laughs> yeah, because I can't sleep. Yeah, we know. Stop reading books. What records do you like to listen to first thing in the morning? First thing. It really depends on my mood, I think. Mm-hmm. Give us some. I do I do like in the morning listening to quite relaxing music. Like, Give us some. All right. Give like, us some names, man. Uh, recently, maybe like Matt Maltese, Andy Schauf. I like listening to those guys. Mm-hmm. I, I mean... Big fan of the Beatles and obviously being in Hamburg, I feel like I have to mention them. Yeah. But what, they're, they're more like album? a mid-afternoon. I mean, absolutely got to be, oh, I'm doubting myself now. For the Either morning, Revolver the or for the morning. Yeah. Let It Be probably. Really? Yeah. Or Abbey Road. But they're quite, okay. Interesting. I like the lighter uh, stuff. They're my favourite, but but for the morning, you kind of want like Jangle Pop. Rubber Soul. Like, you, well, even earlier, maybe I don't know. What do you listen to, Elliot Smith? <laughs> no, I, I I listen to a lot of classical music in the kitchen. Do you? Yeah, yeah, on the radio. That's a it's ball. going all through. It's playing right now in my flat. I haven't been there for days. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. Hopefully, the electrical man isn't knocking down your door, thinking you're asleep. No, he's probably out there enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> um, cut to the cut to the wall. <laughs> Is it me? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, well, mine is what music do you listen to to fall oh. asleep? Oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> to fall asleep. Thing. I listen to a lot of podcasts to fall asleep. It's hard to fall do asleep you? to music. Nick, give me some podcasts. There's some podcasts that I like. I like the Adam Buxton show. Yeah. Um, I really like hanging out with audio files for all of our music friends. Yeah. Um, but I have put on, um, sometimes I used to fall asleep to Pink Floyd. Nice. It's funny, funny, and funnily enough, <laughs> yeah. classical music is my uh, is my uh, my thing in the evenings. Really? Yeah, I have a penchant for it. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> I like listening to film scores. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which one? Mainly John Williams. I love all John Williams' oh, yeah. stuff. Also, Hans, Hans Zimmer's good, but that's not intense. not to fall asleep to. Yeah. It's like bang. you suddenly get a big sub bass. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. like my alarm in the morning. Actually, yeah. I used to have boot. Uh, is it the Boo Radley's, wake up, wake up, Boo. No, I don't know that. Something, yeah, I think so. I'm expecting that. the comments to be like, "No, you idiot." <laughs> <laughs> it's called Wake Up Boo for sure. Okay. Wake up, it's a beautiful morning. Oh right, that oh one. that's that's a classic. Yeah, the Boo Radley's. I've never heard that name. Something Radley's. Okay, Boo Radley's. Great band. Is it my turn? No. Okay. Yes. What's the most annoying song to be woken up by? Probably Wake Up Boo by the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so true. Be in your head all day. Mainly because yeah. I listened... I had it for about three years. When I was younger, I used to have the Match of the Day theme tune. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I had a little, last I had little alarm. Oh, no, really? no, no. Oh, I had a little cool. alarm and it sprung open. And there really? were like little foot, football really? football players there. Wow. You instantly Tiny think actually real football players running around and they're just <laughs> singing the tune. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It was great. I, um, really? What about um, uh, Baby Shark though? Baby Shark. Do, 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 baby. Because that would Well, just... that's a modden classic, isn't it? So I, I don't know if that could annoy me. Yeah, you like that. Mm, modern classic. Okay. Cool. That's it. I'm out of questions. I have the, yeah, last, the last one, one, I believe. Which monster sleeps under your bed? Mainly me. Yeah, yeah, that's probably... Write me more lead parts. We, we have had bunk experiences in Ibis Budgets where you've been literally underneath my bed. And <laughs> in a way, you are always a sort of present. I'm omnipresent. When, while I'm sleeping, just like I wake up to... I, I fall asleep to that's constant messages figure. and I wake up to constant messages. So in a way, 
You are, you are the monster under my bed. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is why there's only two of the band here right now, because they can't stand me. No. Um, and when I get home, I look forward to sleeping under their beds. And I've got to go, actually, now. So there you go. Everyone you're, leaves you. You're on end. your own. Being a monster who sleeps under beds myself, uh, it's it's difficult because I also sleep under the bed. So there's there's numerous monsters I'm with. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like anxiety or something really <laughs> so, dark. Yeah, I should do really. I should go deep <laughs> into it. But I've gone into this uh, weird avant-garde place. No, you where, stick with it, man. You're doing no. good. I mean, I'm thinking of Monsters Inc. now. I'm just imagining myself as the tiny, the tiny green, the green one. Yeah. Do you remember his name? No. I don't remember. Sully is one of them. Mm. God, what a film. You love all of those films. I love, I love Pixar. Cartoons. Doesn't stuff. like cartoons. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I like Simpsons and South Park. That's mm. Anything else scares me a bit. So you more. know what cartoons I do like? Go on. The, the music videos for Night Flight songs, like <laughs> Death, Rattle and Departure. They're really cool animated cartoons, aren't Are they? Are you trying to subtly sell? So what? No, I don't no, make any money from this. <laughs> That's true. It's very true. <laughs> but um, they're the kind of cartoons. Beautiful animations done to music. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, um, what's that snowman thing? Christmas thing. Mm, Flying I snowman. I Flying yeah. snowman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big fan of that. Walking in the air. You walk, yeah. Walking yeah. in the air. Classic. Classic. Up there with Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, that's us. Um, please still listen to our music after watching this. <laughs> it's really quite deep and considered and thoughtful. Surprisingly so, really. Yes. And, you know, one day we'll rival the great tunes that we've mentioned. Yeah. We're working really hard at it. I'd love it if someone was uh, someone used our music as their wake up wake up call. Yeah, yeah. Take your pick. Yeah, the album's out, so crack on. There you go. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>